Well, another shortage in the global supply chain is impacting women. This time, tampons and other feminine products. And with inflation, it's also driving up prices. And on top of inflation, there's also what's called the pink tax, making products even more expensive for women. According to Consumer Reports, for a bottle of shaving cream, women are paying 80 cents more compared to men. News Nation's Marky Martin joining us live in Dallas. So, Marky, how much more are women's wallets being impacted now? Hey, Nicole, yeah, you walk into almost any drugstore right now, you head straight to the feminine hygiene aisle. Those shelves are picked clean. That shortage on top of this pink tax making it more difficult and more expensive to be a woman. There is clearly a lack of options and product here. Cynthia Smoot lives in Dallas. We went with her to her neighborhood pharmacy to check out its feminine hygiene inventory. It's a little frustrating to, to not be able to find something that is really a basic necessity. For weeks, shelves have looked like this with limited brands and choices. Yeah. And unlike razors or shampoos, where sometimes you can just bounce over to the men's and you know get a lotion that's maybe meant for men or that has a you know manly fragrance and just kind of make do, this is all you've got. Tampons and period products, the latest item to be hindered by the country's struggling supply chain. Major manufacturers blaming the pandemic, recalls, even the war in Ukraine for the shortage. But beyond the shortage, there's also a pink tax. Yes, it is more expensive to be a woman than it is to be a man. Kristen Myers is the editor-in-chief of the personal finance website, The Balance. In her company's latest study on gendered items, price discrepancy sometimes reached 25% or more. A very well-known secret that if you want to save a little bit of money when it comes to shampoo or soap or and especially razors, you just hop over to the men's aisle and you can definitely find some savings. So we've got like 12 to 14... So here's where I go to like the buy one, get one off, uh -huh. like $3. Check out the difference in these razors. Men get six for $11. Women get four for 20. And we went across town and compared other items too. At this store, men's blue jeans were in the $20 range. Most of the women's pants were in the 60s. Even protein bars, Luna bars, the first bar aimed at women, is more expensive than its sister Cliff Bar, which are about double the size. Why? Because they know we will pay for it. Yeah. And it's all about the marketing. It's not necessarily even that the product is different, the quality is different. It's all about the branding and the marketing. Yeah. And Nicole, that study looked at four major national retailers across the country comparing 128 different items. Everything from hair care, body wash, lotions, uh, most of it was more expensive for women. And then you fold in different claims like a, a lotion or a cream bringing you anti-aging claims and, and properties. That could have been as much as 100% more expensive than what the men were paying. Yeah, even though this is so upsetting, excellent reporting there, Marky. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.